One thing that's happened over the last maybe six months to a year is the uh, kind of an emphasis on low stretch cores. Uh, one of the key factors in fly line obviously is the material that the plastic is sitting on. And the core on an airflow fly line typically was either a monofilament or a braided nylon. Well, Airflow came up with this really cool new core material, and they've messed with low stretch stuff and zero stretch stuff in the past, and have kind of, to be honest with you, they've kind of pushed the envelope and uh, not always gotten it right. Now this time, stuff's pretty cool. Um, here's our top of the line competitor's product, kind of noisy. And uh, so this orange fly line's our competitor's product. This is a trout line. And I don't know if you can see the amount of stretch. I'll just pull on this left side. It's a typical trout lines are about 20% stretch. I'm probably pulling four pounds, five pounds of pressure. Line stretch is a lot. Here's the airflow ridged fly line. And let's pull on this one and see what happens. Ready? <laughs> Hang on, let me try that again. Ready? <clears throat> it's the same amount of pressure. I'm getting much less stretch. Airflow uh, has switched to a new power core technology that's about 6% stretch. Most other people's, about 20% or more. And the difference when you use a low stretch fly line will be really evident when I show you stuff out on the casting pond or out on the river. But obviously low stretch will help you with the hook set. Low stretch will transfer more energy, not only in the hook set, but also in the cast. So when you're making your cast, you get a smoother fly line. Going through the air, what you don't realize is the top leg of the fly line, when you stop and you really accelerate and you stop the fly rod, you get a little bit of stretch in the fly line. You know, it's, it's not a ton. You know, we're not talking this line's gonna make you throw 20% farther, but what it will do is that when you stop your cast on the forward cast and the loop is formed and that fly line starts forming a loop to deliver the cast to the target, if you have less stretch, more energy is transferred. What I think is more important is that the line goes through the air a little bit smoother. Imagine if the fly line stretched a whole bunch, like like a rubber band. When you come forward and you stop, that rubber band super stretchy fly line wants to kind of recoil and you'll get kind of a jumpiness. And I've noticed in this low stretch technology that Airflow's been using for about a year and a half to two years, I've noticed that my casts are a little bit smoother than they used to be. Doesn't always mean I catch fish, but I've just, uh, I've really impressed with this new low stretch power core technology from Airflow, it really makes a difference in my fishing.